The city's controversial experimental trucking experiment in trucking sewage from the overcapacity Sand Island plant comes to a close tomorrow, and city officials say the pilot project has been a success. The exclusive story from KITV4's Kyoki Kerr. The city's largest sewage plant at Sand Island, built 35 years ago, is running over its capacity. So one month ago, the city began trucking a 4,500-gallon tanker each day full of sewage to its Waipahu pump station, which sent it to be treated here at the Honoulu'uli plant in Eva. City wastewater officials worried that easing the sewage load at Sand Island would overload Honoulu'uli. The concern is, is that if you had a problem at Sand Island, are you just transferring the problem over to the primary site at Honoulu'uli? But City Environmental Services Director Tim Steinberger told KITV4 News that has not happened, and he says the pilot project has been a success. It's shown that it has not had any impacts that we can tell on the instantaneous data. Uh, there's some data that takes several days before you actually get the results back. So, uh, but so far, it's, the results look good. Steinberger says the city is tweaking operations at Sand Island to try to maximize its capacity. Lower the risk of failure uh, over on the Sand Island side. So, you know, we're, we're doing like engineers and operators like to do. We, we try to find a solution. The sewage trucking operation will stop after tomorrow for more analysis of the effects on both plants, but the city may start it up again to gather more data for an environmental assessment the city is compiling on the project a process that could take six to eight months. Yoki Kerr, KITV4 News. The city already has permits to truck sewage elsewhere on Oahu, unrelated to the Sand Island operation. It hauls sewage from its Waihiwa plant to Honouli'uli and Eva and from its Kahuku to Waimanalo plants and to Kailua.